A very good morning. Assalamu alaikum. Happy Monday everybody. Today saya live, saya tidak pasti kalau semua platform, saya tanya dulu, dulu saya punya bos, habis sekarang kami bertest kita punya new system ini. Saya rasa yes, we are live on Facebook, Instagram dan juga YouTube kalau tidak silap saya. Dan seperti biasa, saya akan bebel sambil memasak menggunakan Thermomix saya. It is the latest version DTM6, alright? So hari ini kita akan buat mochi. It is a favorite street snack. And this recipe was actually given to me by an acquaintance. Her name is Michelle and she is also one of the founders. Well, she is the founder of Oilies. It's an essential oil that I personally use and we've collaborated so that 20% 20% sales also will go to Humara. But more about that in just a bit. Kalau kamu orang wondering kan, kenapa kau pakai kau punya apa bra? And your bengkung outside of your baju uh, ada sebab tu. Nanti masa saya bebel, saya akan cerita serba sedikit mengenai another collaboration that I do with the Boss Mamas in just a bit. Okay? Baiklah. Saya akan memulakan saya punya masak dulu. Hari ini kita akan masak mochi. Apa dia? No, I'm going to be... I'm going to be standing up. Sorry, I'm talking to my husband. He's talking to me over online. It's just that sometimes when I'm tired, I need my uh, my kerusi. Jadi kami tu sambil sambil menunggu tadi kan, saya pakai kerusi bah. Begitu baik tu. Okay. Because husband saya tanya saya kau duduk kah? Tidak cantik kalau kau duduk. Right. So for this recipe, you need roasted um, peanuts as well as sugar. So that is for the peanut punya apa ini? Peanut sugar lah. Dia punya powder kan. Kalau kau tahu kan mochi itu kan dia macam uh, nantilah kalau kau tidak tahu saya akan tunjuk juga kau lah. But it's a very favorite street snack. I used to eat this a lot when I was back in USM. Sana Penang, sana Gani Drive tu. Saya selalu beli dari tu uncle. Uh, dulu satu ringgit sejak kan. Sekarang kalau tidak silap saya. In February when I travelled last there for work and a holiday. Um, dia sudah macam tiga ringgit tapi kecil saja. So I'm so happy that I can actually make this on my own. Sebenarnya kau boleh buat juga on uh, you can also grind uh, and make your own peanut sugar base. I don't know what that's that what you call it. Tapi oleh kerana saya sebenarnya ada sudah ini, ini orang kasih saya apa? Peanut but apa peanut butter pula ground peanut dan juga sugar uh, masa just before raya. Tapi saya tidak guna ini untuk sate bah. Jadi alang-alang bagus saya pakai ini dulu. Itulah another reason why saya rasa bagus saya buat mochi. I remember that I have this in the freezer. Okay. So if you are doing this from scratch, you basically need about um, 75 grams of roasted peanuts. Okay. Jadi kau boleh apa? Way dekat sini kau punya temu mix. And as well as 25 grams of caster sugar. Sebenarnya mochi ni ada juga dalam community Thermomix punya recipe sharing Tetapi si Michelle kastor saya Dia bilang actually you don't need that much So 75 peanuts as well as 25 sugar And if you want to use um, another substitute for sugar Then by all means go ahead It's just to add in a bit of taste Then do that okay So you want to get peanuts that don't have the kulit And all you have to do is basically turbo it over here to about two seconds and then you will have grounded peanuts and that's that but I'm not going to be doing that today because obviously I still have this my husband's going to pass me a stool so that at least sambil-sambil saya membebel nanti habis resepi ini kan dia akan steam lebih kurang 15 minit macam tu lah so that part is done I don't need to do this now I'm going to do the actual pulut and water and olive oil itu saja yang kau perlukan jadi first and foremost I am going to add in about 60 grams of glutinous rice flour so, sini ada dia punya scale sini again it's about 60 grams okay that's about 4 spoons or so just a bit more Ini cukup untuk macam Saya family lah Sebenarnya kami suka betul bermakan ni This is one of Belle's favourites also So she just had popped her head over just now Dia bilang kan apa kau masak tu Because uh, kami berpuasa Tapi tu budak-budak kalau tu spaghetti So ini akan jadi ini macam tea, tea treat lah Begitu lah Okay so we've got 60 grams of glutinous rice flour And then I need to add in about uh, 60 grams, sorry, 90 grams of water. 
So sudah saya tes ini 90 grams of water To those of you who's just joining us Hi, Assalamualaikum It's me I'm cooking mochi today Preparing mochi and it's just so easy All you need is pulut rice flour Extra virgin coconut oil for Extra virgin coconut oil Olive oil which is about one teaspoon water and you are done of course we've got the peanuts as well as the sugar but i've done that in advance because i've had a packet and i'm going to add in now one tablespoon of extra virgin olive oil okay okay first before that i'm going to mix this dulu i'm just going to mix the flour as well as the water for about one minute Okay, so satu minit, we've got the tombol over here that has the time, temperature as well as the speed. Uh, temperature tidak payah, jadi dia punya ni, saya mau mix dia mungkin dalam speed tiga. Okay, and saya siap-siap sudah ada, saya punya minyak di sini. Again, I'm going to be mixing this for 30 seconds. And after that, saya akan steam, begitu senang saja. Of course, you can also do this uh, manually. So you mix it all together. If you've got a mixing machine, then that's one that you can help, you know, mix it all together already. Or you can do it manually. And then you can get your steamer and then you can steam it for about 15 to 20 minutes. But in this case, everything is done on just the thermal mix, including the grinding of the peanuts, which has already been done for me because this was a packet that was given to me just before Raya to make satay mix okay another 17 more seconds and then saya akan tambah ni and i'm going to mix it for another 30 seconds before placing it into this uh, dish uh dish pula the varoma punya tray inside i've got like a dish i don't have the stainless steel bar dia punya loyang bar belum lagi saya ada yang boleh muat saya punya varoma uh, tapi while i was just about to buy it saya perasan yang eh i actually earned it because um, as a sales advisor, I managed to um, get some certain criteria done, so I won some gifts. So I'm just waiting for that to be sent over. But they're right now, because of the MCO, where the very, 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 very small staff, they're focusing on getting the unit out first. Okay, sekarang saya mau tambah dia punya extra virgin olive oil inside. I'm going to mix it for 30 seconds. And after 30 seconds, on speed 3, we're going to move it all into the steaming dish of the varroa tray this is about oops no 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 not yet belum lagi aman 30 saat no temperature is required and also on speed 3 just to give it a good mix before i move it over into my plate again setelah tu beloyang lagi preferably you have a stainless steel that uh, plate that can a uh, dish that can actually you know uh, fit here but I've only got like this plate that can what and you want to ensure that the steam is able to pass through because at least 20% of the steam can perlu ada uh, to make sure that it steams it properly oopsie doxy so because I want to make sure that the lubang is okay kan safe yang ada ruang untuk tu asap itu steam keluar I place my butterfly whisk which is an accessory that comes with your thermal mix just so that they are can um, apa? allow the steam to go through. Okay, so again, I'm not quite sure if this is going to work because the recipe does call for a stainless steel loyang. But biarlah kita cuba lah, kita cuba test apa. Okay, so that's how it looks like. Sikit saja kan? Mana? Sini lah. Yeah. Alright. And I'm just going <laughs> to... <laughs> Kalau kau dengar apa yang bercakap my husband sana behind the scene ni kan Kau pun macam, ush, apa itu dia cakap tu Alright Enak Okay Okay, marah-marah sudah Saya pun macam stress Biarlah Testing, testing bah Because, you know, this is some of the things that I do Outside of our main um, job But it's good to just test out the system before we go live with our paying customers so sambil-sambil kami testing sambil-sambil saya masak sama juga saya bercerita-cerita lah sama kamu orang tentang isu-isu yang semasa or like you know things that my followers send to me and then I like to just share it out 
and give my two piece worth or two piece sense of opinion. Boleh kau macam tu? Sorry, saya macam panas bahari ni. Jadi kalau panas kan saya punya productivity kurang bah sikit. Okay, so I've added that in here. Begitu, jangan nak kau tu. And hopefully this works. This is my first time ever doing this, guys. Jadi sama-sama lah saya belajar buat mochi for the first time pakai sepnya thermomix. I've seen a lot of my other customers and advisors who've done it successfully. Jadi kita bismillahirrahmanirrahim sejalah. Okay, so I'm gonna put back the mixing bowl lid onto my mixing bowl, and then I'm gonna gently put on top the varoma dish. Varoma means vapor aroma, and I'm gonna cover it up. And then I am going to steam it for 15 minutes on Varoma on speed one. Okay, eh eh eh, kana pa ko ni? Kota excited pula. Bulam lagi sa tambak ko niya Varoma. So there's the speed, the temperature, as well as the sorry, the time, the temperature, as well as the speed. I'm gonna put it on speed one. Okay, so whilst this is happening, saya minum dulu saya punya jus, bukan jus benih, saya punya multivitamins, powdered multivitamins, saya letak dalam air sudu. Vitamin D just helps me, like perks me up, gives me the energy. Alright, so on to some good news guys. First and foremost, uh, let's congratulate the Duke and Duchess of Sussex. Betul kasi cakap tu, we're talking about Prince Harry as well as Princess Meghan, who has caused quite a controversy when they decided that they would like to leave their royal duties and they are going to move to the United States or so move to Canada first. And now they are based in LA. They have or she has just delivered their second child, which is a baby girl, and they've named her after their mother, uh, Prince Harry's mother, as well as. The grandmother, which is the Queen of England herself, so her name is Lilibet because Lilibet is the name of Queen Elizabeth. Uh, that is fondly yeah, they fondly call her that because it's Elizabeth, right? So they call her Lilibet. So it's Lily or Lilibet Diana Mountbatten Windsor. So that's her full name of the latest addition to the royal Mountbatten. Yes. All right. So that is the latest addition to the royal family. And speaking of royal, it is also our uh, Duli Yang Maha Mulia, uh, Yang Di Pertuan Agong, Al Sultan Abdullah's official birthday today. So we are also saying Selamat Hari Jadi, Daulat Tuanku, from all of us here in Thermomix Malaysia, as well as Team Diva Romas. Now, a lot of people don't know this, uh, or maybe they sort of forget the good acts of our um, uh, royals, okay. So um, I am familiar. I'm very fond of this couple because even before they became, or you know, they what's the word ah, macam nek tak talah kan. Drum tu actually quite down to earth by tu, you know. So macam si tuan ku tu kan, kadang-kadang uh, dia uh, we talk about the agong lah, we talk about yang di pertuan agong, okay. Uh, he will sometimes be very spontaneous. And sometimes his guards are like, okay, I need to be on standby because if he sees something where, you know, he's just in his car or or he's just doing whatever he's doing and then he just notices something that needs assistance or catches his eye, he will just tidak ikut protokol, dia akan pergi sejatu, you know. Um, he was also, this was before he was Yang Dipadon Agong, but he attended one of our children's sports meets and he actually surprised the PJ teacher who casually invited him and then he disappeared, you know, like no one expected him. And um, that was quite a nice, sweet surprise. And he appeared there to give support to the school. Um, I know of him um, also extending his food, I think during what happened. Oh, it was during the election. I think uh, what happened was post-election. Um, all the reporters were, of course, hanging out by the Istana uh, because they wanted to get updates of what was happening. And he just suddenly appeared because they're kasihan, lah, bahkan he just suddenly appeared, brought in fast food to just 
uh, you know, just hand over to or hand out to the reporters who were waiting there. So that was quite a surprise. Some people were saying that it was a publicity stunt. Well, you can't help it. People, they're reporters, so people are there ready with their cameras and stuff like that, right? But I felt it was a very kind gesture. He's also helped people who are accident victims. So on the road, he might just stop on his way to whatever official event that he's going. He will just stop, and then he'll go and ask, "Do you need any help?" You know, of course, of course, the person who is like an accident. It's not just one or two times. It's been several times. And um, again, people, I don't know. I don't know why people like to focus on the bad things. Uh, but people saying, "Is that a publicity stint?" You can't like publicity stint. A accident, and then kebetulan he's like, okay, Roger, Roger, King, let's go over there and like, you know, get a publicity stint, a, a, a photo op there because it's, I, I don't know, I'm or maybe I'm just someone who thinks very optimistically and positive about people and always look at the positive and brighter side of things. Okay, and when we're talking about his wife, Raja Pumaisuri uh, Agung, she is just a lovely lady. She's also a big fan of the Thermomix, although admittedly she's just started using it. Um, and she's toying with the idea of creating or adapting some of her own recipes, favorite recipes, using the thermal mix and probably sharing it with us. Who knows? We're hoping. We're really hoping. Uh, but yes, yeah, so Tuanku actually has a foundation. It is a foundation that helps for couples who have difficulties conceiving a child and finding ways in financing their journey in conceiving a child. They've also got programs to counsel and support. These couples, you know, besides of course helping children, and she also has this platform where she encourages inmates or prisoners to rebuild their lives. You know, sometimes we lose our way along the way. We lose our way, and she has actually um, incorporated this little platform where they would be able to learn new skills like weaving, because she's very big on the nun songket gan, um, baking and creating carpentry skills um, so that they are able to uh, make a living up for themselves once they're out from prison. So uh, yeah, so these are some of the wonderful, wonderful campaigns or projects or initiatives that the couple, the royal couple has done and a lot more, a lot more that is quite hush hush but I'm only going to mention the ones that has been publicly and officially announced or is already out in reports. So yes, Daulat Tuanku and Selamat Hari Jadi from all of us. Okay, so one royal, congratulations again to Prince Harry as well as Princess Meghan. Actually, do you call her princess? I think she's the Duchess. Yes, the Duchess of Sussex, right? Okay. Now, we've also got some other great news. Apparently, this has just been reported from Tan Sri uh, Dr. Noor Hisham, who is the health uh, DG, right? And he said that the COVID cases are going down, not as much as we wished it would, but it is going down. So, there is a significant drop in the infectivity rate. So we are, um, I can't remember how much it is, to be honest. I think it's 1.16, okay? The infectivity rate is 1.16. It has gone down. If the rate, infectivity rate is above one, that means the, the chances of the COVID cases on the rise is higher. But if it's going lower, then obviously it's the other way around. So it's a good thing that we have this positive and good news, the only thing that I want to hear positive, okay, and that uh, whatever we're doing right now, which is a total lockdown, which secretly I think they should have started when they did the MCO 3.0, they should have just done a total lockdown and be done with it, because right now it was MCO 3.0, but it was neither here nor there, and then suddenly they said, okay, now total lockdown, and then people like freelancers like us, like, oh my God, so now it's like another prolong, if they only had done it earlier, then at least we could have like sort of reduced the number of COVID cases, but it's okay, water under the bridge, and now we're just trying to all stay safe at home and doing our part as a community to ensure that we flatten the curve, okay? All right, so another seven more minutes. The reason why I am wearing bra inside out is, I've actually got a bra inside, is that I want to highlight this initiative by Boss Mama um, in conjunction with World Environment Day that took place on Saturday, 5th of June. They've actually collaborated with Ape Malaysia, who is a Malaysian social enterprise that works a lot with wildlife here in Malaysia. So they've collaborated with Ape Malaysia. So for anyone who purchases 
this emerald green bra, real support bra, uh, then a tree will be planted at the Lower Kinabatangan Wildlife Sanctuary under your name and then they will also send out a certificate to you and states also the GPS of where that tree has been planted under your name. So all you have to do is just purchase this. So now I'm going to be talking a little bit more about the features of this bra um, once the camera switches because I think um, I need to just show the bra that's on me. Can you see my bra, Papa? Is it going to be on me or is it on the... Um, okay, so it's on me now. Huh? So this is the real support bra from Boss Mama. Okay, and it is a nursing as well as a pumping bra. And it's truly, truly amazing for me because I used to have two different sets of bras one for nursing as well as one just specifically for pumping because I like to pump on the go and I didn't like to use so many, um, you know, like I wanted to have a hands-free pumping bra. But the ones that they have in the market or the ones that I had in my three previous pregnancies, um, they weren't so comfortable it's, and, and, and the, the layout was more of like a strap, more like a sports bra strap, okay? Just so that it ensures that the Pumping cups will just stay in place, but it was not necessarily comfortable, nor was it definitely not one that you would wear outside. But for this, because it has an opening over here, so you can actually put in your... There's an opening somewhere here. Hold on. Okay, it's here. So there's an opening here where you can discreetly pump, uh, put in your pump all right, and you'll hold it in place and there's another opening over here. So that's how you use it when you're pumping. Or if you're feeding your bub, then you just put it down. You don't have to like, you know, unhook and let it all be messy or sometimes you just want a smooth silhouette. So there's no more of that little bumpy hook over here. It's comfortable enough where you can also use it as for workouts, light workouts like yoga. The band over here is thick enough. Now oh, shoot. It's thick enough. So it gives you good support without being uncomfortable. And they come in colors of black, nude, now green, as well as fuchsia pink. Okay, so I've got all colors and they're very, very comfortable. Um, also, I use it at night. Normally, I don't like wearing a bra at night simply because I like to go commando. But then, kita ni sudah aging bah, aging. Jadi kita kena support bah, kita my sisters di sini kan. Jadi, Baguslah kalau kau pakai bra, tapi saya tidak suka apa pakai itu bra-bra yang katat-katat. This one gives me the support, the real support, without me feeling panas and rimas. And then kalau si Ilan mau menetek malam-malam, saya pull down sejala, senang. And I just wear the bra, and then my pajama bottoms, and I'm done. You know, so it's very, very comfortable. It's definitely something that not just for nursing and breast pumping moms, but for any woman out there who is looking for also maybe a lightweight yoga uh, yoga bra bra or if you are someone that wants to wear a bra at night then this is something that you might want to consider and you can use their code boss babe for 40 ringgit off and this campaign is going on from the 5th all the way till the 30th of june and i since we're still talking on boss mama because the reason why i'm talking about them is simply because they were one of the few first few brands that wanted to collaborate with me in order to get um the awareness out about Humarap, which is my NGI, NGI meaning non-governmental individuals, where I started that initiative initially um, to basically help unwed pregnant moms. And it was just a small little thing that I used to do. Um, but then after that, when the MCO 1.0 took place, I had lots and lots and lots of requests for provisions or funds to help babies, especially those who are undocumented or stateless, to have milk, as simple as milk and beras saja badong minta sana sabah. Jadi saya bilang alamak, saya pun sendiri susah mau cari duit, habis masa tu saya baru beradak, and also saya, I saw no event, I saw no job, jadi saya bilang macam mana ni, saya masih mau membantu, jadi that's how it sort of moved from Humarap helping just unwed pregnant moms to something a little bit more generic and it helps also to try and find I just got another call from Siti, one of my volunteers in Sabah um, and she is looking to help some uh, fire victims. Hari tu flood, hari ni fire yang 
yeah lah, they need help on at least provisions and just simple essentials for their homes. So I'm trying to raise funds for that and whatever funds that I can get, I'll try. So Boss Mama was one of the first few brands that actually came on board and said, hey, we want to help out, but how can we do this? And at the same time, since you're a breastfeeding mom and you're pumping also, would you be keen on this? They actually got me to be one of their guinea pigs before they actually officially softly launched, officially softly launched in uh, uh, late last year. And I tried out some of the designs and they were saying, is this material okay? So they really wanted to make sure they had like a whole year research before they actually launched the whole um, their first hero product, which is the bra. But now they've expanded and now they've got this bengkong, which I personally like. Even though I my confinement days are over, I still like to wear the bengkong once in a blue moon simply because it gives me lumbar support. Um, I carry Elon a lot. He's very, very, very clingy. So sometimes sakit juga belakang saya because I'm prone to sakit belakang, but I've got a bit of a slip disc. So I want to ensure that my posture is right. I've got lumbar support. And this is made out of neoprene material. They come in nude as well as in black. And it has a zip. So they've got a little hook here just for uh, macam kasi double, double, double safety lah. Safety untuk apa bukan lah. Peace of mind that it won't jatuh. They've got the zip. And inside you've got like these hooks that you can see over here. I think I'm going to coba kasi naik atas sikit sampai dia ni. So it has the hooks there. All right. And then you can just fix it. They've got sizes XS all the way to XL. And then kau just pakai lah. Now, one of the reasons why I'm big on bengkong is I did not use my bengkong when I was carrying after delivering Isabel and then Iman. And even Isidore actually because admittedly satu, my confinement lady for Isabel, they did not focus sangat on bengkong. I went through the... Uy, bercakap-cakap habis juga tuju minit. Um, I didn't have the apa? She was not big on the bengkong. She, I had the confine, Chinese confinement lady. For Iman, uh, we were away, and I didn't have a confinement lady at that point of time. And admittedly, there were some personal things that were happening at the same time, so I was going through PPD. For Isadore, mom was looking after me, and she was tying the bengkong on me using the kain punya because my mother is actually a certified. She's also a nurse, or well, she's a retired nurse, and she uh, it has also qualifications in doing confinement. Tapi two weeks after my uh, my beranak, saya beranak, mom was uh, unfortunately we found out that my grandmother, her mother, passed away, so she flew back to Sabah. Jadi tiada orang mau tolong saya. So during my confinement with Elan, I made a pact because we knew that this was going to be our last child and I know that for a fact because we've already cut my tubes um, for my safety um, as well as because for family planning we don't want any more children, we don't plan on having any more children, Elan is definitely our last. So I wanted to make sure that my recovery was the best way I did and I did like 44 days, 100 days um, wearing my bengkong and eating good stuff and ensuring that you know I wore my socks, a whole shebang and I noticed that with this fourth pregnancy pregnancy, my shape went back really, really fast. And it's not just about beauty and stuff, but because you must understand, kan, kalau kau kena potong, this would be my fourth surgery tau. Kalau kau kena potong sudah, kau punya organ sudah macam sini sana sudah, ba? because yalah, not natural, kan, kau buka macam ni, biasanya, uh, normally, uh, natural birth would be via your vaginal, but, there, but vagina, but I just couldn't, okay? And with the fourth baby, it was already a, a, a show go that I'm going to be delivering slightly earlier to ensure that the baby's health, health as well as my safety was paramount. So, that was another reason why saya make sure betul-betul saya ikut saya punya bengkong, walaupun panat juga lah, mau buka, tuluk buka, tuluk buka. But I noticed that my shape went back much faster and I feel stronger because my core is stronger and that's a, why, one of the reasons why I continue using uh, the bengkong even though my confinement days are over. Okay, so nampaknya sudah habis saya punya muaci. Kita harap-harap okay ni. Always lift. Kenapa ini? Alamak. Macam tidak oh, tidak jadi oh saya punya. I don't know if it's because I don't know if it's because alamak susah mau Okay. Alamak. I can't show it. Can you see it? Dia masih cecair. And again, I think it probably is because I'm not using the right um apa ini? I'm not using the right plate ba. Mungkin saya terpaksa. Oh my god, you know why guys? I did the most biggest boo boo in the world shoot me now guess what i forgot to do i forgot to add in the water 
when you want to steam, you need to steam something. I'm just surprised that, oh, because there was a bit of liquid inside. Oh my God, big, big, big no-no. So I guess that's why they say, jangan kamu bercerita-cerita, bernyanyi-nyanyi, kalau di dapur. Ya Allah, ya Tuhanku. I'm like, kenapa ini? And I can't even see some of the comments because maybe someone saying, kenapa kau, kau letak sudah baroma tapi kau tidak lagi letak itu air untuk steam. Nah, I sip baik, I sip na high. So I'm going to put in about, um, apa ini? About one liter of water and I'm going to redo this whole thing again. And hopefully this time around. Itulah saya bilang, kenapa ini? Diam saja. Haiya, inilah masalah dia. <sighs> okay, another 15 more minutes on Varoma speed one. Okay, this time, Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Oh, goodness, Lord Almighty. Some more life, bakan? Buruk, kan? But you know what? That's just how life is. I just spoke about this nursing bra as well as the bra, uh, the, the bengkong. And that was supposed to be like my last topic of the day because I knew, sort of knew that this would be cooked by then and I was correct only to find out that saya letak, saya lupa letak. And this is something that I wanted to share with some people because kadang-kadang saya dapat juga bah, message dari orang lain kan, followers semua dia macam deaf. Saya rasa sangat sedih dan depressed because I did this, 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 this and I cannot forgive myself. How do you move on from a mistake that you've done and learn to live and, you know, bounce back? Jadi untuk saya kan, saya rasa one thing, and I tell this to my team also, failures and mistakes are actually learning steps for you. Now, if you keep on repeating the same mistake knowingly, um, then that's on you. But sometimes we need to make mistakes. We have to have those failures in life in order for you to tweak, to do things better. You know, do you think that all these great minds, those who made our iPhones, the people like, you know, Elon, 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 <laughs> Elon Musk making the Tesla, which is one of the cars that Azmi and I have our eye on, but like, oh my God, gila mahal to kan, if it ever reaches here in Malaysia. Um, yeah, I'm sure they've gone through Many, 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 many trials and errors. I'm sure they've gone through lots of failures and mistakes. If you read all these autobiographies of all these great individuals, men and women alike, all of them have gone through some challenging period of their lives. And that includes me, you know. Let me tell you something, guys. That's the reason why I always prepare, no matter, even if it's like this Bon Bebels, I sort of know what I'm going to be talking about. Um, I don't have a proper script like what I would have in my normal uh, corporate jobs, for instance. But I will sort of have pointers simply because I had this traumatic experience. I was going through, um, I was doing a live and I was one of the hosts for the Formula One. Big client who got us on board. It was myself and another girlfriend of mine, but we would rotate on weekly races, right? And I love Formula One, you know? Anyone who knows me would know that I, I'm a speed demon, I love my races, I love my Formula One. Um, and I thought I had everything that I needed to know, okay? But at that point of time, I was also going through a personal emotional dip, uh, something that happened in my personal life and it affected me work-wise, but I still plodded on. I didn't allow myself to sort of cry over that matter because I guess priority was for me to be able to be strong as a single mom to my daughter Isabel who was just barely one years old at that point of time right uh, but all that aside uh, professionally I try and always put a, a very strong professional front now what happened is during that Formula One it rained it was in Sepang it rained there was a huge crash and for that particular day I did not do my prep work, okay? Because I sort of, I mean, I, I did my, uh, I did my, I did my research, I did this and that, the normal way. But what I normally do in most of my shows, no matter if it's my own show or a client show, I always 
double research and always have more information uh, as backup just in case of any technical glitch. That's just something that I do on my end and I, I can share that with you if you attend any of my public speaking trainings um, because it's something like a safety net and I would highly recommend doing that. Okay. So on that particular day, I didn't do that. I thought I had enough prep or scripts or info or pointers on that day for me to just glide through and admittedly I was not in the right state of mind emotionally and physically I was just so drained financially I was so drained so there was a lot going in my head but professionally I like to put on a professional front right and when that accident happened and I'm live mind you I am live I just blanked out and I didn't blank out for just five seconds or ten seconds I blanked out for a good one minute and one minute on live television, national television, on a global um, sports event. That's a very long time. I was fired. The next day, my boss calls me and tells me as gently as he could because he knew what was going on in my personal life. And he told me as gently as he could that the client wasn't too happy and this, this, this. And I cried. I cried for days because I was just so embarrassed. It was more of embarrassment um, because, yalah, malu lah, kan? Siapa tidak malu kau sudah pun kau terdiam satu minit. You've been doing this for 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 so long, and then suddenly you know how to blank out. Do I? Because deep inside, I knew that I did not put 110% as I normally would. Okay, tiga, saya malu because, alala. What would people think of me? Would they not accept me anymore as a, you know, as a host? Alhamdulillah, syukur. Because of that very painful experience that I went through, that was the reason why I was able to bounce back, learn from it, and from there, I have never ever made. I mean, I've never ever been um, unprepared in any of my work. Okay, so I think we've got a comment, and I'm just gonna add. Uh, Okay, hi Melda. I am cooking mochi. If you've just joined us earlier on, I shared with the viewers on these really simple ingredients that you need to make mochi, which is a street snack favorite of most South Asian countries. So it is made out of glutinous rice, olive oil, as well as water. So I've galkan that. What I didn't do earlier on was to add water to steam it. So now I am doing that whole part of the steaming just because earlier on I didn't put in the water. Silly me. Uh, and uh, you also need peanuts without the skin and some castor sugar. All right. And then you mix it. You can also ground your peanuts with the Thermomix because this also is able to mill, grind, blend, crush the whole works. Okay. This is just amazing with over 20 functions in this all smart in one. And you can just add it together about 75 grams of peanuts and 25 grams of castor sugar. And this recipe was shared to me by Michelle, who is the founder of Oilies. Okay, another comment coming in. Okay, we've got Anis on the line. What earbuds am I using, Anis? I am using Studio. All right. So I'm a huge fan of Studio. I've started out with their Studio tray. And then they had the, uh, I can't remember all the words, but I remember Trey is one of my favorites, but it sort of hangs like that. Uh, this is their wireless uh, studio ETT or ETT, okay? Um, they have another one that we use upstairs in our living room, and that can be like, you can use that when you're flying, so that you can actually sambung, sama kau punya, macam kalau kau terbang kan, ada dia punya lubang-lubang tu, I don't know what you call it, I'm sorry, I'm a bit blurred today. So, and again, <laughs> I miss traveling, so I'm trying to like, macam in denial sikit. Macam lupa pula apa apa perasaan dia yang dulu dulu masih kita travel a lot as a travel vloggers. So yes, this is Studio ETT and it's a Swedish brand. Um, pretty good actually. It's pretty awesome and I love that product. So yeah, go check out S U D I O Studio. This is ETT. Yeah? May Sandra Primus. Oh, Ponsiko, dia cakap. 
Uh, okay, I because I can't read the comments. Joe is actually telling me what uh, you guys are commenting over here, but she's basically saying, uh, "Shock up your sharing, ko bercakap cakap, membebel bega, ampun si ko, how are things?" Actually, today kan bila si Joe kan tanya saya apa topik kamu bebel hari ini. Sebenarnya mula-mula sebelum saya cakap, saya mau cerita bukan saja pasal saya punya bos Mama Green Green Bra kan, tapi mula-mula saya mau cerita pasal a live. A 45-minute live from an Australian photographer who works in Sabah, who has said his piece mengenai baru-baru ada satu kontroversi yang berlaku di um, uh, to one of our undok ngada participants, uh, where she has lodged a report to a politician who has now since been sacked from his party, and uh, basically this guy orang putih kita it's in her Facebook. I think I will share about this uh, once I complete the full video because I just watched snippets of it early on. And he worked under the alleged uh, molester, <laughs> the dude, the politician, and um, he said he wanted to just set the record straight about how this guy, because he's worked under him, is not a very pleasant person, you know. So that's where that's as much as I um, listened to from his 45 minutes Facebook live. Um, but I didn't want to talk about it until I watched the whole thing fully. Because I think it's only fair that you watch something in full before you can comment in full. Lah. And speaking of which, um, that reminds me of, again, you know how we use all our communication tools, right? WhatsApp, Telegram, Facebook, Twitter. I always, always encourage you guys to please verify your news. Uh, just yesterday, I, was, I received this WhatsApp message and it was um, saying something about how they did a post-mortem on a patient who died from COVID and when they did the post-mortem they realized that it was not a virus that is causing the COVID but a bacteria instead so a lot of people think how oh, what's the difference between a virus and bacteria there is a huge difference and in that article that was also shared it says that instead of doing this 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 it doesn't affect your lungs it actually affects something else a part, different part of your organ and the writing was just so believable right and again it came from someone who I thought would be um, you know someone trustworthy a trustworthy source so she passed that to me and i'm like oh wow because that's like oh it's the, the article is just so whew. but i went online just to double confirm to see because if that is true and that was something that would make headlines it would come out in the news and we found out that actually it was fake news and it was sort of um, they adapted the same article and it started viralizing in russian sites and stuff like that so it was fake news so yeah just be careful on what you share um, over your social media pages always verify before you vilify okay because kadang-kadang ni kita membaca headline saja bah kau terus kita cepat saja mau share because kita nampak tu gambar kita nampak itu clickbait punya um, apa uh, headline terus kita share terus kita marah-marah dengan kita punya komen sendiri tapi kita tidak baca the essence of the content or the article or without finding other news sources to sort of see is this article a little bit more biased hence the writing is like that you know because as a reporter myself we try a good journalist will not be biased but sometimes you can't help it we are after all humans so begitulah always try and compare with a few reputable news sources before making or placing an opinion and if you have nothing nice to say i say don't say it unless it's something that will assist or help or elevate a, 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 a an issue or a cause that you are championing okay and again guys i think one thing that i want to stress i keep on stressing this especially to my kids also because they are zaman zaman orang internet is that you can agree to disagree bah kau tahu saya sama saya punya sabok kan saya punya husband ni banyak yang kami tidak agree what is football dia suka liverpool saya suka arsenal terus dia bilang okeylah biarlah bini saya arsenal pun tidak apa janji bukan man united so itu kita sudah cover politics also kami kadang-kadang we have our differing issues or opinions on that and that's fine we're still husband and wife i still love him even in terms of work you know we will have our disagreements on how things should be conducted but we agree to disagree lah. When it comes to certain stuff, when it comes to marriage, when it has something to do with our marriage, then we have to set our goals a little bit more clearer, refine them and to ensure that we are both on the same page, especially when it comes to our children, when it comes to parenting and handling finances. Because 
saya nampakkan ramai juga orang kebanyakan marriage breakdown and then they will seek for comfort elsewhere is biasanya pasal finances dan juga parenting punya opinions bah macam mungkin dia mau macam ni mungkin ada yang tidak mau ada anak and that's why it's so important tau kalau kalau kamu orang mau kahwin it's important to kau pergi kau punya premarital course for catholics i remember those days uh, you have to go through a premarital course and it takes about i think six sundays or six six classes even in islam they have your uh, kursus kahwin although I've got a little bit of issue about that. You have to find the right persons to conduct those courses going. I was very lucky because my husband was previously married, so by right, technically, he didn't have to attend that courses going, but he attended it with me because he wanted to ensure that the um, center that I went to attend my courses going with with or at was saying the appropriate stuff because kadang-kadang hal-hal religion ni kan ada sensitif sikit bah. At the end of the day kan kita ni manusia, kita ni human, kita semua ada idea, ideology dan filosofi masing-masing. One thing might be you know, amazing to me to another person is poison. You know? So kita kena cari balance baik tu. Kita kena cari cara untuk communicate and to appreciate and to listen to the other person's opinion uh, without fighting. Saya rasa itu bah. Kadang-kadang saya ada hari itu kan saya ada tweet bah. Nak kan saya popeh-popeh habis sudah. InsyaAllah this time will be better. Tu lah tadi saya bilang kan you have to lift your lid kan to make sure that the panas memang kenapa tidak panas ni. Alright, Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. See it's so panas now. Just don't get that. Oh, wow. Okay. Now that looks more like it. Yes. Hmm. Okay, si Lid tanya, why did I choose the Bobex? Okay, but before that, saya mau kasih tunjuk dulu kamera tu. Inilah dia punya. Oh, sini. Sorry, saya belum terror lagi bah, pakai ni dua cam ni. Okay, so I'm just going to let it cool down for a bit. Saya rasa macam okay ni. Yeah, it is. Okay, the texture is just perfect. Okay, so sambil-sambil saya buat ni, saya urus ini. Saya jawab dulu si Lid punya question. Dia bilang mahal kan? Right. For starters, I share your sentiments. I understand and I hear you because when I first toyed with the idea of getting a Victoria panas, saya mau minum dulu. When I first toyed with the idea of getting a thermomix, it was during the MCO where jobs were scarce. But at that point of time, I did not have Lina with me because she was stuck in the kampung, and I didn't have. Um, uh, you know, I was just really, really sick and tired of uh, of having the same order food semua kan. And then I did my research. Orang jenilis kan. Saya bilang, kenapa bay ni mesin ni mahal betul? Is it just a gimmick? Found out that it has over 138 years of history. So the technology is there. It started out as a blender, admittedly, but it has evolved ever since. And now it is has over 20 functions. So basically, it does everything for you except for baking. It's just not your oven. So your oven, as well as your thermal mix, is your best friend. It has a cookie do function, which is a recipe platform integrated into the system that has right now, as we speak, more than 70,000 recipes that you can refer to. Jadi orang-orang macam saya yang tidak pandai masak, lead just to got two questions, saya tidak pandai masak bah. Okay? They are, um, it's great for people like me because then saya tidak pandai pening kepala. Saya punya laki ni, walaupun dia perasan dia ni orang inanam boy, dia sebenarnya merayu juga bah. Dia suka dia punya kari-kari, dia suka dia punya sambal. Saya mana pandai masak semua tu. Habis, kau tahu lah orang Sabah bukan biasa masak kari sama sambal kan. Ha, kita orang makasih minum sup, buat steam begitu, saya biasalah. Tapi itulah itu, my husband selalu masak kasihan juga saya. Tengok dia balik-balik mau masak kan, panat. Dan kau tahu lah, kalau dia kan, kalau dia masak, dia macam tidak mood, sudah mau makan bah. Asyan, laki saya kurus bah. <laughs> I mean, it's it's not about you know how the woman should be in the kitchen and the man should be like you know the breadwinner and stuff like that. It's nothing about that. It's just that I love uh, to show my love in ways where I am able to do acts of service and things that please them. So for him, he likes his food. Unfortunately, saya tidak pandai masak. Jadi in the end, saya bilang macam ni lah. Saya jadi saya 
saya beli sejalah nanti saya find a way to make up with it lah. And you know when when you set your heart to it, kau dapat cari baik tu. Kebetulan ngam-ngam masa tu saya punya commission masuk untuk something else that I was doing kan. Jadi saya ada extra money sikit and uh, I've got it and there's an installment plan. Financing is uh, using either your credit card or your debit card and it's zero free interest. Jadi I did that way. And now, because I share so much about it, and also because my silent partner, Anis, who is Malaysian, living in Jamaica, she told me, why don't you just sign up as an advisor and then we'll get the team in. Jadi, that's the reason why I'm now doing this as a business and showcasing it. And that's when I learned more and more about the Thermomix. And it's wonders because, kau tahu lah, kita ni ada group sharing ba. Jadi, semua orang um, suka share apa dia orang masak. Terus, kau macam ada motivation lah memasak. From breads, to making your own homemade sauces, pastas, your dough, even your rice pun boleh masak sini. In the end, kau tahu saya sudah jual saya punya kitchen aid. I'm in the midst of uh, selling off my brand maker. I've put aside all my other appliances except for my microwave as well as my air fryer and my oven. Sampai si Lina, who is my helper, yang biasa pakai wok pun, now she just is so comfortable using the Thermomix. So she looks for recipes online or she goes through my books or she goes, she goes through my cookie dough and then they cari-cari barang-barang yang dia boleh masak. Simple saja because it also really, really lessens the need to clean up. Ba. Jadi kalau kau put it all in perspective kan, this cost at retail price 7188 It is now going at 6988 There's a 200 ringgit voucher off. Uh, and there's three ways of uh, purchasing it. One is for payment, and then there is the installment plans. And then another one is to become a sales advisor like yours truly, where you earn your way into the free unit. Um, and you can speak to me about that if you are interested in making this a business or to earn your free unit, kan? So, gitu beto. Well, there are sometimes like I will cook my, I will do my pancakes and stuff like that. Kadang-kadang macam, because I've only got one thermomix kan. So, misal kata I'm in the mood to bake and everything kan. Jadi, si Lina pakai juga to walk untuk masak yang simple-simple semua. But yeah, basically I sort of um, gave it away or donated it or, you know, um, uh, sold it off. Because tidak terlampau mempakai lah. I just use my basic ones enough for me to uh, buat yang simple-simple or like really express stuff that I need. You know, my branch manager, she's my interim branch manager, Sifiza, she even cooks her Maggie Mee inside here but because it's like tip-top and then macam kau tidak payah tunggu to boiling semua. It basically does everything for you and then you just press the prompts or if you have to, then like macam saya kan tadi, saya boleh bebel-bebel, saya ada masa lagi untuk buat barang lain ba. And you're saving money, you're also you're being more healthier because you are able to come on, lipas, lipas lah. Um, you are able to do other things while you're waiting for your food to cook. So that's time saving. In terms of cost, you're no longer buying all these food young you would have bought on jars and bottles. So you're also saving the environment because, like me, I make my own homemade stock and homemade pastas and homemade breads. Think, look, I'm making mochi from scratch because saya rindu betul mau pergi sana gani drive mau cari saya punya uncle yang jual mochi itu. Saya boleh buat sendiri sudah. Unfortunately, I don't have like two of these, the dough cutter. Jadi, saya akan cuba buat lakan pada rambut saya ni. Okay, my husband screaming at me. Hold on. Let me just lower this. And, uh, yeah. Begitulah. Saya harap saya ada jawab kau punya uh, soalan. Gitu. Actually kan kalau biasanya mau buat tim wachi kan Diorang ada one big surface Terus diorang macam And then they use two of these dough cutters Tapi bagi saya Saya pakai ini nanti mau ambil gambar lagi kan Mau kasih tunjukkan orang Jadi saya buat pelan-pelan lah Yes macam itu You don't waste it like What I do with my periok But then again I don't have much periok I have like the basic pots and sauces and woks is that um, I will just keep it lah. Ataupun kalau kau rasa macam samak tu, tu rumah, give it away or sell it over pre-love. There's some um, pre-love uh, platforms that you can sell it. There's Marketplace, there's Carousel, 
I've not tried Carousel, but a lot of people are highly recommending me that because I've managed to sell off my appliances um, just by uh, WhatsApp and uh, what's this over my Instagram. So that has worked fantastically for me. I did like a major overhaul of the place. And because some of you know that I'm also going zero waste, kan? Jadi, like some of my produk-produk, ada saya kasih dengan orang-orang yang memerlukannya, macam drong tiada, kan? Jadi, saya tanya, siapa yang mau ni? Kalau mau, bah, self-delivery, um, ambillah, saya kasih sama kamu orang. Begitu, baik. Saya harap saya dah jawab lah, kau punya jawapan, Lid. Kau tahu benda ni, kan? Boleh juga sous vide and also slow cook. So, even my slow cook, I don't use anymore. And you can even make your own chicken essence. Um, a, a, a new customer of mine has been making more and more yogurts because her mother is on a very uh, particular diet. Jadi, dia kena pakai everything from scratch. Dia tidak boleh ada yang preservatives atau macam-macam macam tu. Okay. I don't know. Apparently, my mic is not not listening so anak-anak saya sudah lapar so i think this is okay and i'm gonna get bell bell on yeah so michelle thank you for this recipe i think you're right about the although i didn't really uh, measure the peanuts and the sugar properly but i just wanted to ensure that i don't waste it so that at least it covers enough for the mochi that i have and tidak nanti pula saya buat ni tapi nantilah saya buat lawas sikit janji ada ha huh? what is that okay anyway um so this is it all right so that's how it looks like mochi which is a favorite street snack here in southeast asia and that's about it. I'm going to get my daughter to taste it. And in the meantime, thank you for joining me and thank you for your questions. And congratulations once again to Prince Harry as well as the Duchess of Success. My name is Daphne Iking, and that's enough for my Pond Bay Bells today. I will write down all the important information later on over at my caption. And thank you to my husband, Joe, for helping me out with this setup. Bye, guys.